Hi, my name's Patrick Racco. I'm a business tutor at ACM, and I'm going to be talking about intellectual property for World Intellectual Property Day. YouTube is licensed, so once it's on YouTube, if it's a cover of someone else's song, that's fine. If the person um, does not like the cover for some reason, they can ask YouTube to take it down. Technically, you're not allowed to upload it. In that the process of uploading it is copyright infringement. But you don't need to worry about that because once it is uploaded to YouTube, it is licensed. Um, as soon as you create something, as soon as you create it in permanent form, so if you're writing a song, as soon as you write it down or you record it, copyright arises. You don't have to do anything. It's there. What a lot of people think is that they have to do something, they have to register it somewhere in order to get copyright. You don't have to do that. What you might want to do in order to prove that you were the person who wrote it and you wrote it on a certain date is you might want to register the song with a collecting society. You might want to send a recording of it to yourself by recorded delivery. But copyright arises automatically. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay anyone any money. There is a, an idea, I don't know where this comes from, that the title of a song can't be protected by copyright. Um, and I don't, as I said, I don't quite know where that comes from. And I don't believe it's true. If you've got a title of a song saying, she's my, um, she's my baby, that probably isn't substantial enough or original enough to qualify for copyright protection. But if you write a song, as someone did, called It Takes a Lot to Laugh, It Takes a Train to Cry, I think that is original enough and substantial enough to gain copyright protection.